Hey everyone, how are we doing? Hoping everyone is doing amazingly well. Um, so this um, video has been uh, recorded during the times of the BS that this whole world is going through. So, and plus of course I have um, my grandchildren here but they're taking a nap so I figure why not and record a video um, so I was getting ready to sit down and watch my daughter's video and for those that do not know who I'm talking about I'm talking about naturally Marquita now um, bear, oh, here we go I was looking for my little strawberry holler Cutting up some strawberries and uh, if they look bruised I just kind of like go look through them if they look kind of not good then I just cut that piece off and stuff so um, but yeah I'm not going to do an intro so we're just going to bring you back I'm actually making a homemade strawberry jam or preserved or however you want to call it um yeah this is not good whenever you're trying to cut something off your um strawberry you don't want to see that okay so i tried cutting some of it off but yeah let's just do it like that okay so all right so let's bring you down i'm actually making like i said some strawberry preserves and I'm just grabbing the container here. And I'm just going to be hauling the strawberries. And just putting that in there. And just... Yeah, I just want to see if you guys are doing okay. You know, how are you guys doing? That type of stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up a little bit of hot water. Um, and I'm going to put some in this cup here and it's microwave safe. I'm just going to add a little bit of it because the strawberries are already, um, they're already uh, sweet and juicy and we don't need any, we don't need liquidy preserves. So I'm just going to put it in there for about a minute and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put it in this container here. Um, so in the meantime I'm going to undo this and once it's connected and done I'll bring you guys up so you guys can see it. But in the meantime we are going to go and put this on for about 30 seconds because like I said I don't have that much water in there all right so we're gonna just put those in there and I'm just cutting them down the middle and then down whoops then down the middle again which basically makes some quarters you know so um a lot has changed a lot has changed for me in the past um, few months and if you were on my Facebook live earlier today or my Instagram stories live or something you would know that I'm going to be making the announcement later on down the future um, I'm not gonna do it just yet I will make the announcement later on. Now, all right, so I'm going to bring you guys back up again. All right, so I um, went ahead and took the water out. And what I'm going to do to give it a little bit more sweetness is I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of honey, which is all doesn't need that much. Like I said, the strawberry is already sweet as it is. But then when I put it on the stove, it's going to get thicker because of 
the natural sweetness of the honey and the um, strawberries. So let's go ahead and grind this up. Shouldn't be leaking. Okay. Made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Just gonna rinse the blade out, and then we're gonna put it in the pan on, and we'll be right back. I'm gonna bring you guys away over here. And get a spatula. Now, being that this is, um, we're trying to thicken this up, okay? And let me see if I can get you guys a little bit higher. Okay, I hope you guys me. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to try to see if it's um, need a little bit more sweetness. So I'm going to add, and these are like stevia tablets. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons in there or a couple of little pills because these are like little pills of some sort. Now, if you want to add milk to this or even like a creamer to make it more thicker and denser or something, but this is just strawberry pulverized. So I'm kind of like trying to make it into a jam, okay? I'm going to remove this from the heat a little bit because you don't want to burn. Okay. And you can actually add this to, um, what's it called? Some peanut butter, to some cereal, to some oatmeal. You can do whatever. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the number four. Okay. If you want to add a little bit of chocolate to this, you can. Okay, so it's getting warmed up, it's getting cooked. And if you just wanna like use whole strawberries, like let's say the way I cut them up, I cut them in quarters, then cut them like, like uh, I cut them down in half, then I cut them down, like so I cut them down in the middle, then I cut them in half again. But then if you wanna cut them down the middle, and then just dice them that way and then put a little bit of water here and a little bit of sugar it'll be amazing so because i wanted more of a i guess you could say like a syrup consistency and stuff you know all right let me see oh yeah really good because strawberries are naturally acidy already so it's got like an acidic taste to it most berries are this is why they're so good for us you know and being that i'm using a natural sweetener it's pretty good for me you know and you can always add chia to this and it'll expand so yeah it's uh it'll be pretty okay Okay. Okay. So let's try this. And, and I'm going to show you guys a snack that I've been wanting to make for a while now. So. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So you guys already know I have to clean as I go. So give me one second while I speed everything else up.
Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm adding some peanut butter. And you will see why in just a second. And this is like another healthy snack that I have. You know, so if like if I'm in a mood for like, oh my God, I want something good to eat. You can uh, have it like that or what have you. Now I'm going to add, add a little bit of chocolate. Okay. You can eat it just like that. Okay. I'm going to add some ginger. I'm going to tell you how OCD I am, guys. I am so OCD that when, if, when, um, like, if I was you on the other side of the camera, you know how there was, I don't know if you guys could see it, some powder fell on here. And if I see, like, if the ingredients did not fall in the container, but it fell on the spoon, I want to be like there. And it's like, okay, let me help you, please, because everything is on the container. All right, so let me switch, because I had to use this. All right, so now... All right, so now we are mixing. Now, if you want to add bananas to this, you can add bananas to this too. Mash it up and throw it in there and what have you. I mean, possibilities are endless. All right, so let me see without burning my finger. Oh, my God. I need a spoon because this is very hot. Wow. Oh my God, guys. This is almost like having strawberry jam. All right, so let me bring you guys up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off now. And I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what it looks like. Just right. I mean, I could just eat it like this and it'll be fine, okay? Now, if you want to put chia seeds in here, you can, but you got honey, you got strawberries, sugar substitute. So, yeah, you can use this as a sugar substitute or something. Um, so I put in, you've seen the strawberries, how I made them and everything else. And, um, but yeah, like these little apple cinnamon rice cakes. Mm. Even it's a lot healthier if you get the plain ones. But these apple cinnamon ones. Mm. Mm. Mmm. So, the strawberries. Cut up with a little bit of water. Pulverized it. Threw it in a pan. Brought it to a boil. Turned down the flame. Added some honey. And then, um... Then I added some sugar substitute, then some honey. Mm. Then peanut butter. Couple of tablespoons. Some ginger. Cinnamon. And cocoa powder. Mmm. Again, if these were plain, and with this, really, really, really good. Really good. 
Mmm. Okay, guys. Mmm. I'm gonna let you go. Um. Let me see. So, 13 of these is 120 contain uh, um, calories. But then I got two tablespoons of peanut butter. Mmm. Mmm. Which is 190 calories. Mmm. Cinnamon, ginger. Zero calories. Water, zero calories. Honey. Hmm. Well, not sure, but it's, anyways. Um, what else? Then we get the cocoa powder, um, which is about five calories or something like that. Mm. Strawberry, and it was four of them. I honestly don't know, but this is really, really good. Um, I mean. <laughs> You can taste the peanut butter. Really good. Okay. Mmm. I can't get over it. Mmm. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you go because. I'm going to have some more. I'm probably down. I lost count. By the time I edit this, I'll realize how many of these rice cakes I ate with these um, by the time I edit this, I'll realize how many rice cakes I ate. But hmm, we're doing pretty good. Mm. You guys take it easy. Um. Mm. I'll put my video for chia pudding here. Everything healthy fied is basically in this place playlist. Mm. And I'll also put my daughter's um channel here because um because of her and my grandkids and my kids and my conscious and the big guy upstairs you know I decided to um become healthy and live a different lifestyle and man I never knew living healthy was so good mm. So good. All right, guys. I will see you later. You take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And remember, I love you guys. Take it easy.